So people have been wondering, is it possible to make salt body physics on Roblox? And I'm going to tell you that, yeah, kind of. Let's say for example my slime character. Right now he's just moving and he doesn't have any physics, he's just able to walk and to jump, right? But what if I told you that this character was actually a skinned mesh? It has a bit of bone set up and with this I am able to simulate its physics by using a module for dynamic physics simulations. And as all of you know, it's Smart Bone. I made few tutorials on this module already and everything is gonna be in the description. And you guys can also request stuff that you want to see me make with this module too. For example, I've already made a cape, a hair, and this time it's going to be soft body physics. And the slime character is already set as a Smart Bone object. It has the Smart Bone tag, as well as some different settings. And these three cylinders are colliders. I can also set the base plate as a collider by giving it a smart collider tag. So if I do a playtest now, you can see how this slime suddenly has physics. So I could be jumping around and this guy is just going to behave like a blob basically. And let's take for example these smart colliders. So if I go under one of them, you can see how this slime is being a bit squashed. The same if I try to go under this one, but it's a bit too low. So I'm just going to move it a bit higher. And now I'm going to try walking under it. You can see that this slime basically just behaves like a soft body. And I don't really have any bones set under it. So you can see the same effect on this area. But if I, for example, try to go to the edge, you can basically just see what happens. So yeah, it is possible to have soft body physics on Roblox, but we don't really have anything like Godot has, for example, with the physics bone 3D node, or Unity with fizz bones. So I need to use a module for dynamic bone physics simulations. And also I forgot to mention that this slime character is also open source. You can get it from my slime character playground demo that I'm gonna leave in the description too. It's a character that I kind of just made a while back and I thought that, hey, making a video on it would be actually cool. But yeah, overall you can basically just see different behavior that's happening to the slime. I could also go to the server view and just move like this pawn, let's say all the way up, and then just position my character on it. Then if I jump down, it's just going to make a bigger squash. And also bad thing about this character is kind of its player controller, because if I go to the initialize script right here, I'm just going to move it to the side, I left this comment here saying that all of this is pretty janky because it has a custom jump, these different settings, and then how the logic works is basically every time this character jumps, it's just firing a ray cast to see if anything is below it. And if there isn't anything below it, it's just basically going to not get any acceleration while going up. But if there is a result, it's going to gain acceleration. And this whole character is also kind of being moved by a vector force, by also having these rotators. That's why it's able to rotate on the axis like this whenever I press one of the directions. But a really dumb thing that I can do in this initialize script is for example just change the acceleration to be on 2000s. And let me just also show you what happens if I launch myself into this wall. Well this wall also needs to be a smart collider. So let's just try launching myself out this wall. Okay, that might have been a little bit too much. Okay, let's maybe not change the acceleration, but the max velocity. To maybe like 300. Okay, let's try now. Okay. So yeah, this is what happens whenever the slime is going to basically just bump into the wall. And this guy is zooming. And it's not really giving the same result as if it was... Okay, I don't know what happened there. It's not giving the same result as if it was slamming into the ground. And that's because of how this slime is structured. And its structure is also another thing that I wanted to talk about. Because I also want to show how I made this model. So let me just quickly go into Blender now. And this is the model in Blender. So how its body was basically made... The eyes and these... Blush things are basically just shapes, 
that you can add. And the body itself, let me just enable the proper material equity. And how the body was made was by basically just having a cube. And then just adding the subdivision surface modifier. And then just making this floor bigger while also selecting Shift and E to sharpen the edges. It was shaded smoothly and here we have the blob. Not exactly the same, but you get the idea. And then I have added an armature that basically just looks like this. This is the root bone and then we have these bones that are connected to the root I'm going to actually hide the body and they are connected with the offset where every single one of these bones is going to have influence for over around the quarter of the character and this is a really simple character and yeah there doesn't really need to be anything too complex but you can see how the root bone has influence over this bottom area and it doesn't have any influence over the eye and the blush and just moving to the different bones you can see how this front one which was the bone right here and actually I'm going to enable the in-front display on the armature. So this bone has influence over this area as well as the eye and this part. You can also just make them a single mesh, but I thought that this effect was kind of funny so I just left it as that. And yeah, that's basically the whole weight painting process. So the whole slime basically just looks like this. And you can also make different structures like for example, if I go to the object mode, then to the armature you could have these bones affect let's say this down area then duplicate them and just have few different ones on this area maybe even not this many because four isn't really needed because even if there is let's say one or two bones on the top even one would be enough to handle the whole top part of the character and there is many different ways, of course, of how you can structure the armature for, let's say, a slime character. And that's basically the whole gist of how this was made. There is also the texture, which is pretty much just a gradient. Where the UV map of this character basically just looks like this. Everything I did was basically just slap a gradient from this point to, like, right there. And it was a circle gradient. And these are the eyes and these blush things. But let's get back to studio now. Because I also wanted to mention that having a bone physics simulation sometimes is much better than doing something like having to animate the whole character. Because you have to do the jumping animation, the falling animation, the walking animation and etc. And if it was any more complex character than a basic slime like this one, there would be just much more to do than having a simple module instead of the replicated storage. And setting the slime as a smart bone object. But yeah, that is basically going to be everything that I wanted to talk about. If you guys enjoyed these overviews and you want me to do them more often, then please let me know. And like I said previously, you can leave suggestions down in the comments of what different stuff you want me to make with smartphone. But yeah, as usual, if you found this tutorial informative, then please leave a like. It would really support my channel. And if you want to support me more, you can also subscribe or become a channel member. But that's basically going to be everything for today. So thank you guys for watching and see ya.